Good morning. Today I'm just doing a quick walkthrough of this Power BI tool I created uh, that will give some quick insights that might be harder to get with ACT. So first off, uh, you're going to grab you know a log file. So in this case, I just need to edit my queries. I'm going to pull this on here. Sorry about the slight delay. Uh, so I'm going to go and uh, come to the source here, click this little gear icon, uh, and then that allows me uh, to come and then browse for a combat log. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna keep what I have currently, so I'm gonna click cancel, but normally you would click browse. In fact, I will just do that now, and then you just need to make sure you change this to all files, and then go browse for wherever you have your combat log stored. Uh, but I'm going to cancel that for right now. Uh, and then when you're done, you would click close and apply. Uh, so the idea being that you go in, you turn your combat log on, and then you can just start hitting stuff and it starts creating a combat log file. And then you can go open your combat log. Um, as you're in combat, if you want to continue to refresh, you can just click this refresh button and it will go grab more data from that file. First off, this is organized into tabs. So there is a dashboard tab a hit by index tab, an ACT-like results tab, and a death kill tracker tab. Uh, this is Power BI, so everything is completely interactive. So if I were to click on a bar, then it would filter other results by just me. So if I wanted to just click the ogre here, now you can see that all of these results are filtered down in. Pretty, pretty straightforward intuitive. Um, I will talk a little bit about the filter section here. So there may be times where you want to actually filter this down. So let's say you only want to see people that are in your party. So in this case, I'm just going to filter by myself. And then you'll see that uh, this filters now for the entire report. So all the tabs are now filtered by this value. And I can continue to now filter this down if I were in a party and I, had, and I just wanted to see my player characters. Um, Obviously, you can filter by power as well. So you can pick what you know power it was that did damage or caused you to take damage. Also, you can filter by target. So you can filter down to, say, a particular boss if you wanted to. Uh, the AOE environmental uh, is a filter I added in here um, for certain things like uh, uh, when you're in the Demogorgon uh, trial, uh, there will be times where you're taking damage, and I just wanted to filter that damage out. Uh, and then blank target is where, let's say you do a power, it hits for zero damage because the target's already dead. There's also other cases where you may have a blank target. Um, the is heal um, function right here, this allows you to swap, and let's say instead of, and so when I say is heal is false, um, what I'm looking at is, now I'm only seeing damage, but I can flip this and now see the heals essentially. So if I wanted to see what heals I'm generating or an enemy's generating, I can now flip this to true instead of false. Uh, obviously crit, CA, deflect, immune uh, are all things as well that can, be that can be flipped, as well as I can filter this entire report down to only show kill shots. So. The filter is pretty intuitive. Um, if you look at the side, there are other options in here and I have other measures added in. Um, I will post this update out to the how to do this link later on. Uh, if we, and I'm gonna skip uh, right to the kill death tracker. Uh, so this is all about kill shots right here. So I purposely went out in the stronghold. I was hitting the target dummy for a little bit and then I went out and purposely got myself killed in uh, one of the spots so I can kind of show this. Uh, so I want to flip to the ogre. So the ogre had a kill shot uh, and it killed me with a leaping smash, which hit, which based, which had base damage of 262,000 damage. Uh, you can see that I did mitigate off 131,000 of that damage, but it was a critical hit against me. Uh, one of the other things with these tables, you can see that I have drill downs in here. Um, so if I were actually to go up, you can see that at the base level, it's just the target. And then if you click the little branching tree, it'll branch down. So you can see that it hit me and then it was leaping smash. And then I go right down one further and then you're gonna see an index number here. 
keep them keep this index number in mind because now I'm going to come over to the find by index hit. Um, so how I'm going to use this is, uh, and I already forgot what that index was. Good job, me. Uh, 28 to 29 was the index on this particular hit. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to put in 28, 29, and that's going to be my max result. And I'm just going to chop, let's say, 100 off that. So I'm going to do 27, uh, 29. And now you're going to now I'm going to be able to scroll down and see each of these hits in index order, right down to where I actually got hit right here. So you can see uh, the hits in order. So um, I hit the hill giant, uh, and then actually let me do one further. Um, and I could even filter this down now by target. So I just want to see where you know, I'm the target. So now you can see that at the last season, so these are the hits that I took leading up to that ogre hitting me. So I took, uh, you know, a hit for 200 and then 4,600 and 97 and 2,000, but I got hit by this hill giant with his dazing fist for 91,000 damage and then 131,000 damage, right? Um, so this will allow you to really find out what's going on that's leading to your death. Right, so this wasn't a kill shot, this was the kill shot, and it crit, right? Uh, you can also see that in this case, um, I actually deflected this one hit here as well. Um, at the basic, that's really all there's to it, and I can just reset this back. I'm just go here, and I just type in an arbitrary number, and then I have everything again. Uh, if you go to the ACT-like results tab, again, it's very similar. Um, there is a drill down in here, so at the at the very highest level, you can see the actual, the average of your actual hit, the median, which I, from a data analytics perspective, can often be a much more valuable number than your your actual, your minimum act, the minimum actual, the maximum actual hit, the percent you're critting, or the or the character player, the characters hitting, the percent they have combat advantage. And the percent that when they're hitting, the target is deflecting. So that percent deflect is really about the hit. Was the hit deflected as well as the count of kills? And again, you can see if I can drill down in here with the branching drill down, I can see that I have the power then. And then I can go even further down and see the target of that power. And then I can see uh, further down in, I can see now the index number. So again, I can use that index number or the range of index numbers to go find a particular area that I was doing combat at. Um, I like generally leaving it right here at the uh, the uh, character and then the power. And then you can see down here, um, this is like the total breakdown of everything. So again, if I wanted to filter this down and uh, let's take me off the target, so I'm, I'm no longer just a target, and let's say I want to just show uh, the stuff that I did. So now you can see that this is just me in this particular testing scenario. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you very much.